Hey guys, just got this new fence for the chin room. So let's go set it up. These, the bars are super small. So obviously they can't fit through this. So I don't think I even need to cover this in fleece, which is really cool. Um, it'll feel much more open that way. So I'm gonna zip tie them together and we're gonna see how long it is. And this is actually pretty cool. It comes with a bunch of tiny zip ties. And actually I might end up needing to cover it in fleece since these are plastic, but I brought these big ones up here, but I don't need them. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. And we're gonna check out the instructions and see how we can get this set up. So I just wanna show you guys, so this is the exact perfect height that I was hoping for. It's completely flush with the door so I can open this door and put the stairs up against it and there won't be any issues. So I'm feeling very excited about these. So let's get it put together. Okay, so discovery number one is I wanna put the zip ties on at an angle so that they can't move like this. So I've got one going this way and the other one going this way over the crosses so that they, they can't move up and down, but can still be completely folded up like this. So we'll keep going. Okay, so just so you guys can see what I'm doing, I'm taking the inner piece here um, and I'm, or the inside edge, and I'm lining it up right here. Um, and I have them all even so that the outside of the bar is facing up. So they're all facing up. You can do it whichever way, I don't think it really matters. Um, but the important part is the zip ties, um, which I, I don't know if they're really gonna care <laughs> if there's zip ties on there, if they're gonna bother them or not. But if they do, you can just put fleece over it. So one way I'm gonna be going across and I'm leaving enough space so that they can wiggle just a little bit. And then I come over to the other one. So this one's going this way. That means this one needs to go that way. And that way they'll still be loose, but they won't really be able to move that much because um, the bars will be blocking each other with the zip ties. So you can see here, it's still plenty loose but they're not gonna be going anywhere. Okay, so they are all connected. Now we're gonna go see if they can span the length of the cage wall. But first we are gonna trim off all of these little tails. So I wanna say that I also wound up making them a little tighter. Um, I don't think they need to be super duper loose. They're still gonna move just fine. So if you don't want them to be super wiggly, you can totally just tighten them. All right, let's see how this fencing works. So it does a pretty good job. It's, I think what I want to do is connect some things to the end of it so that it's not going to be super loose, but it does reach all the way across, which is awesome. I actually realized I forgot one piece, which is this gate, because this is supposed to be a playpen. Um, so this is actually going to make it be completely end to end. So let's put this on here. Oh my gosh. What are you doing, Jimmy? Oh my gosh. Okay, one thing for this, these wheels need to be all facing in and all the cages need to be flush. So these two are good, but Henry and Cage's, Henry and, Cage's, Henry and Chip's cage needs to go back and I need to flip this wheel around. And actually while I'm at it, I'm gonna space these cages a little more evenly. This is very close and like an enormous amount of room. So let me fix that really quickly. Oh, Henny. Henny, what are you doing? Henny, what are you doing, Henny? Oh my goodness. Oh. Well, now I just want to move everything around in this room. So I guess, I guess we'll take a break and move some things. Ooh, <sighs> safety first. <laughs> So one thing I really like about this fence being here is now I have a flat surface for this to sit up against pretty much. Um, and that way they won't have any like cracks to be able to go through right there. I mean, I guess they could push and pull on this, but hopefully they won't really notice that too much. Um, but I think, I think what I'd like to do is actually just have something here that I can kind of put up against it. Slight change of plans, the doorstop is coming out. <gasps> Hello, Finn. Oh my goodness, Finny. So since this room is so much bigger, we may need to unwrap this whole thing because I have three panels in here that aren't being used. And I think 
because this room is so much bigger, I'm gonna have to unwrap them. So let's do it. So I unwrapped it and I put it back there. You can see, it's strong, nice and strong back there. Um, if it gets too wiggly, we'll have to just put some fleece on it. Um, if it's loud, like when they're running in their wheel, if it's banging up against it, then we'll fix that. But I want the shop vac to go right here. So let's put it in there. So yeah, I may want to cover this with fleece because if they see there's a cord or they just want to get under this thing because it's dark underneath it and they, the rodents, so they want to do those kind of things. I may put some fleece um, right here and I, I may just go get that pink one and put it where it was. And I'm thinking about it, I may want to run the cord instead of right here, I might, I might want to run it back there because there's an outlet back there. And if I put, if I have this cord here, I can't push this up against the wall. So it's nice and flat, like I'll show you. You do this, and then I have this whole thing blocked off like this. And then when it's time for playtime, I can just open it up. The cord is blocking that. So I think I'm gonna run this cord back there and just cover all of this with fleece, I have plenty. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. Stuff out of the way. You know, this has now gone from just seeing if this fence fits to rearranging the whole room, but that's just how this goes sometimes. So I'm really, really liking this, the feeling of space right here. This doesn't feel like it's too much. Um, and in fact, I mean, I can put the metal bin over here, actually. I, I don't need to do that yet, but this is feeling really good. Okay, so, oh God, <laughs> that mess. Uh, I think we may need one more. And I initially threw these out, <laughs> but looks like we need them, so. Okay, so I got it plugged in right here. Uh, everything's great, it's plugged in fine. What I wanna do is zip tie this cord down here so it's flush with this, and then I'll run zip ties all along here until the back. So let's do that. And I'm gonna go ahead and use some of these bigger zip ties because I don't wanna waste those little ones just in case I need them. They're really good size. So here's the final look for everyone, for right now at least. I gotta be honest, I don't hate it. So we've got the fence going along the bottom all the way, and I'm just using the, their food um, bin to hold it, that last panel up against. Um, that way none of this will come falling down if like, I accidentally touch it. <laughs> it is pretty wobbly. And then we've got these black pieces of the old cage pans that they come with. Never get rid of them. They're so handy <laughs> when you need them. And all I'll do with those is I'll take them out and I'll put them in between here so they won't jump into the space and then be able to get under the cages. That would be really annoying because they'll certainly want to pee and chew on the baseboards, which I don't have protection for back there. Um, and then over here, we have the nicely cut out spot for the shop back. And this extra, these extra panels can come over here and it fits pretty much perfectly up against here. Um, and I can, I have a lot of extra room there if I want just, if I want it to be up against the fleece or sorry, the rug, then I can definitely do that. 
um, yeah, pretty close. I think that's pretty good, actually, just like that. And as long as I have that door closed, if they do jump out, there's really nowhere for them to go. Um, they, you know, they're not gonna just immediately go for the cord and baseboard. I'll have like 30 seconds to pick them up and put them back in. Also, if that is a problem, you guys have seen, I have panels that I put on the tops all along here that kind of go out like at an angle like this. So that really discourages them from jumping. In fact, they can't jump with those on. Okay, so that's what we have for now. Thanks for watching this long, if you've made it this long into this video. But yeah, I'm really excited about this space. It's huge. This is such an enormous space. You have to fill it up with some fun stuff. All right, I'll see you guys next time. So I'm about to do this little test playtime and I just realized this perfectly covers the gaps because the fence is the right height. So I don't even need these plastic trays out. Ooh.